So my name is Amy and I'm the social media and marketing coordinator for the department. One day I was looking on Pinterest and I saw that a couple other schools had been doing um, some things with lights, like spelling things in their towers. And so I thought, why not take advantage of our towers and spell something out? We started planning and talking in the office, like, I think it'd be cool, and we talked to our boss and he said it would be cool. So then, then we went out and we took a picture of the building and um, a couple people, Mary and myself, went and started drawing different designs on the building, just using the windows, just on a hard copy of the picture. So the room numbers we found, we had, well we actually had the files of the, um, the layouts of the buildings, at, which have all the room numbers on them, and then we took our picture that we drew and we lined up with the floor and then the room number by counting the amount of windows going across. We figured out which specific room we needed to have open, all the windows open with the shades, or one window open, or no windows open. From there, we created a list of numbers, and we assigned them to the amount of volunteers that we had. Figuring out who's going to be on what floor, who's doing what, what part of the letters. There was a lot of time that we spent in the pre-production stage of planning, but I think it really paid off and made a cool looking piece. We already had most of it planned out, but we just planned out some of the rooms. We came in, we kind of just got all the equipment ready, and then around like 8.30 we went out and started the process. Went to Scott's and started turning on lights on our own floors and making sure that curtains were on whichever side the right way. Opening and shutting doors, opening and shutting curtains. When we were running through the halls and everything and trying to actually turn the lights on and figuring out which curtains specifically should be open if there was a mistake. We had walkie-talkies, so that was super nice because then you could kind of hear if someone else on a different floor needed help and whatever, but ours ended up dying, so then it was all cell phones and just calling Adam to make sure everything was good and calling other people, and that got a little tricky. The walkie-talkies was much better than the cell phones, but we got it done. We came out and came and looked at the building and we realized that some of the windows or the curtains were open on our floor. So we had to go back up and some of us were scared to use the elevator so we used the stairs so it was a good workout. It was a very sweaty night. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. Personally, what was the most rewarding part? For me, I guess it was seeing like the idea come to life. The outcome was wonderful and I can't wait to see exactly what it's going to turn out to be. about the light projects. <laughs> we might want to start over. Yeah, yeah, it's fine.